All right, so um, in this video I'm going to talk about the um, displacement and how to apply it onto material itself. There are two ways to do that. One is uh, displacement POM, which is parallax occlusion mapping, and another one is uh, which is became available from Unreal Engine 5.3. Um, it can be applied on Nanite, and it has to be enabled though. So I that's what I did. I applied those two options onto my master material and uh, uh, they change the structure. I'll go through this as well, uh, but let's begin with uh, the material itself. So if I go, by the way, let me quickly pull it down. So if I go and uh, create this uh, master instance, apply it, and let's open this master instance. Let me make it smaller here. I also downloaded some um, tree textures uh, from my Quixel, Quixel content. So let's uh, just apply this uh, texture of the color. Uh, the next one is a normal, also apply here. And then we have this um, O, <laughs> we have this ORDP texture, in green color. I have an option here specifically to use it here. And we can apply this uh, texture on top. It contains an ambient occlusion, roughness, and uh, a height map for the displacement specifically. And uh, now we have all of this. And there's no displacement yet. Uh, we're going to use and find it under number 8. Uh, this thing is by default, it has to be done. I'll talk about it later. And let's first uh, do the height map near strength. So here we'll raise the depth and as we can see straight away it does create depth inside uh, but uh, it creates this uh, shadow. To remove this from everywhere you have to go to this uh, object, select this in search type uh, shadow cast shadow and remove this. The thing it does, of course, the object will not cast the shadow on the other objects, as you can see, there's no shadows underneath, but uh, it has to be done in order to remove this issue for this uh, particular option. And now, as you can see, if we increase the strength of the height map, we see this extrusion. Now, as you can see, we have this, like, uh, layers, lines of layers, and that is known as steps. So we have layer near steps, 64 steps of the extrusion of the height map that we use. Uh, but if we increase it, for example, like 500, that's too much. But you know, just to show the effect, you don't see these lines here. So depending on how much you extrude this, you can adjust the layers as well. By default, it's 64, which is not that seen uh, with the low extrusion. Because probably you will not need uh, to extrude it that far. So, that's one thing. Now, what else we have here? Camera distance near and camera distance far. So, when you go far away, you're not going to see this um, extrusion anyway. So, you can make it so that it goes away. By default, it's 300 by 600, but for example, do distance far a little bit closer. Smaller. And you see, it, it goes uh, away, it flattens it. So you can decide at which distance, which strength it uses, and which uh, steps it uses. So that's why we have near strength and far strength. So whenever the camera is far, we use different strength uh, with different steps. Whenever it's near and reaches that specific distance, we use that specific steps and strength. So, so that's one way to... Uh, extrude and displace uh, the texture on the material. Now let's go and review it uh, on the master material, how it looks like, and I'll talk about this channel as well. So let me open this up. So everything actually starts here and it changes everything completely. This POM, the parallax occlusion mapping displacement, has to go after UV, the main UV, and then it has to distrib distribute all the UVs into these textures. So that's how it changes everything here. So 
that's the parallax occlusion mapping node, which is the main one, and that's where UV is coming out from, and that's where UV is coming in to. So that's your settings of uh, UVs. It goes into this uh, pump settings and comes out from here. Inside it does some maths there, using it accordingly. Now, so there are settings, right? Uh, there's a, as you can see, there's this uh, hate map near strength, far strength, near steps, far steps, which we were we talking about. And we have this uh, blue channel. Why there's a blue channel by default chosen? Because in um, ORDP texture, which is this texture, uh, and that is this green, green texture. Inside, every color channel contains it, its different texture, right? So it's ambient occlusion, roughness, and that is hate map. So in blue channel, this hate map, that is why we have to tell this, um, this uh, node to use that particular uh, texture in, uh, in ORDP from blue channel. So by default it's there, but uh, just in case for some reason in that ORDP texture uh, the hate map is located in a different uh, channel, uh, color channel, you can always uh, go here and change it. So you can click it and instead of blue you can choose green or maybe red. So by default it's blue and it stays that way. Uh, so that's that. Now these ones are turned off for me because they didn't work for me. Uh, in one tutorial uh, someone used it, but uh, for me it just crashed. You know, This one uh, created uneven displays and this one just crashed. So I don't know, I didn't use them. So it works for me that way. And then there's an option I mean, to, use, uh, to use this hate map from ORDP texture. If not, then it will use it uh, just from texture that you have to specifically choose. And if you uh, use it uh, like a separate texture of the hate map, then you will see under the displacement, you will have it here, which you have to also select. So if you have it separately, or differently, in another way. But normally from Quixel, it's, uh, it's inside of IORDP, so you have to use it that way. So that's that, and uh, then uh, we have near and far settings, right, for steps and strength. And in this section, it's the camera settings, so that it tells you that you can uh, set the camera distance for far settings and camera distance for near settings. As well, you can you change uh, if you wanted to uh, to work in the corners of the world or object position itself and you can also find the settings here use uh, cam work position instead of object so you can just click it and uh, there's another section here which goes down it goes from pixel depth offset it goes here you can enable it or disable it but by default it's on because if it's off uh, it just messes up everything so let's uh, let me show you so by default it is on, but if I turn it off, you will see that it creates this blurry step uh, motion blur effect, which is not very acceptable. So I kept it on for always. So that is POM. And now if you want to choose uh, the option which is available from uh, Unreal Engine 5.3, you need to enable it first. You have to click it here, use UD 5.3 Nano Displacement instead. If enabled, just click it. All other settings just uh, nullify. They're disabled now. And uh, that is done so that they don't um, fight with each other, you know. So what you need to do, you need to close this, uh, just go to X you know, and save it and so forth. Then you have to go to your project uh, file, right, where it, it is located and uh, go to uh, config and open default engine and under script engine render settings in the end they'll, you will not have these two lines so you have to put them in here so you have to write uh, r nanite allow tessellation equals one and r nanite tessellation equals one dots as well 
and then uh, close it and open the uh, project again and after you do that when you open actually when you open the master just in case if you do uh, it will uh, it will create this displacement node so we can uh, the pin so we can connect it but if you go to the master instance and now uh, use the intensity it will extrude this but it will extrude this on top you know, instead uh, that's the one difference it will also extrude that you will be able to see it you know see it doesn't go down so it's better way that way these steps are not that obvious as well but you know if you check other other objects like uh, it's okay for planes but not for the sphere for some reason so if I go and look at the sphere and change the displacement, nothing happens. If I go back to palm settings and change the strength, uh, it does create this, but in here it does not work. And the reason being is that uh, it only works with nanite. Don't forget that, right? So for nanite, you have to create this object to, and, and uh, enable nanite in the settings. And for some reason, sphere is not enabled as nanite. So if you go to sphere, wait. Uh, sphere, double click it, and in search type nanite, enable this and apply changes. Now let's go back to this uh, instance, and now whenever I, I, I displace it, it will work. Let's see, but you see, but it's too, too slight. Another uh, option would if you want to uh, enhance the displacement. It has to be done uh, behind the scenes in the master material. So you have to go to this main node of the master material. Let me just make it bigger and uh, type of displacement. In here, on the magnitude, let's for example type 20. This will be too much, but just for the for the sake of it. Uh, let's apply this. And you'll see it will just extrude it too much. Here. And now whenever you control this, it will be a little bit like enhanced. So for the sphere probably it will work uh, better if you enhance the magnitude, as you can see. But for the, for the landscape, not so much. So we might even want to have different materials for, separate materials for the sphere and for the uh, box. So yeah, so as you can see, um, this looks better. Uh, the only issue you need to enable this uh, behind the settings and uh, what else? Ah, it only works with the nanite. So to, if, if I go to the sphere and uh, disable nanite, it will not work on sphere at least might not work on some objects as well but let's say I enable this again, again but this time I will go to uh, and use the um, the palm displacement it, uh, it, it works it, it doesn't displace on the sphere as you can see and furthermore there's some issues when you go back we saw that at the beginning right so because uh, palm doesn't work on nanite. Not at all nanite, at least it's sphere. I don't know why sphere has this issue. So there's some issues here. Uh, so yeah, that's that's two of them. And that's how we use them both. So if we go here in, into the graph, we have displacement here uh, by nanite. It's very simple. It just uses the texture that you saw. If you have this texture and if you have uh, ORDP not enabled, you will be able to select this even under this uh, nanite option, you see, you can just select this, and then you just this is the by default it uses or the bit texture. Then you have this intensity of it, and uh, in case you use uh, uh, palm, it uh, deselects it with switch button. And the switches I have everywhere. So use this uh, use nanite displacement instead of the palm. So uh, whenever you select that, right? Whenever you select this one, you see all settings go down. So by default it's uh, off. You see.
because we spawn but whenever you turn this on it goes in and it uses it instead as well as there are many more of them and uh, by default they use pawn but whenever you use nanite and click it the pawn becomes zero and we don't see it as well as we have them here so we lose all of those settings I don't want to I don't want them here uh, and I don't want them to um, contradict each other uh, so I have them here I believe there is another way to do that but you know that's how I did it so here we go